Seventeen councillors attended the meeting, supported by the town clerk and her deputy. Only one member of the public was present, along with two journalists, to report the proceedings. Normally at these meetings, there is a period at the commencement of the proceedings when members of the public can address the council about topics of concern to them. On this occasion the public were silent, so the meeting continued down its agenda, discussing and ratifying the minutes of the previous full council meetings. These were passed without discussion. For you. I've been informed that North Somerset Council will call for election on the 23rd of March. The town clerk then spoke to the meeting about the arrangements of the forthcoming council elections on May the 7th. This was of course directed largely at those councillors who are planning to stand for re-election. Moving on to number eight. Um, the Item eight was the reading, discussion and ratification of the reports from the various council committees that had sat since the previous full council meeting. The planning committee had sat twice and discussed the various planning applications that would affect the town. None of these applications required further discussion from the members and both sets of minutes were fully ratified. So again, I submit these for approval. Second, all in favour? Thank you, Mr Chairman. Thank you very much. The minutes of the Finance and General Policy Committee were likewise duly ratified and the meeting turned their attention next to the minutes of the Transport and Highways Committee. Yes, it's with great pleasure I present the uh, minutes from our meeting on Wednesday 21st of January. We're very fortunate we get lots of members of the public at our meetings mm -hmm. with lots of points of views raised but there are still no part one items but I'm, you know, able to answer any questions about anything else on the agenda. Sorry, Mr. Chairman, I'm not directly relevant to this meeting, but I received a phone call uh, this morning from a lady living in uh, on the beach. And knowing my favourite member, I asked if the clerk could put on the um, agenda for a subsequent uh, TNA meeting the fact that her concern for the state of the road uh, at the beach due to the construction and the development at the pier, and similarly concern for the state of the roads um, on the hill road for the regional development and how they're going to be restored once the developments are finished. The concern was very real and uh, um, quite verbal uh, this morning. Thank you. Well, I will put that on the agenda. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Another highways comment was made, this time about the recent closure of Highdale Road. Thank you very much. Patrick. Um, the closure of Highdale Road may be of an interest to councillors that this matter came up at the uh, PAC meeting last night. And I did ask if there had been any backlash because of the closure, if it caused any troubles in the town. And the police said, apart from the normal traffic we have, uh, that it not caused any excess traffic, we were surprised, any excess problems. Well, that's very interesting, Patrick. Um, I, I personally, as, as you all know, I'm a governor of that school, and I've, there's been one collision with a, with a lorry going down hard and having ridden off a car and stuff. So I, I think the jury is definitely out on this, but we're, we're, we're stuck with it. Can't do anything about it at the moment. Well, they, the police said they had any problems with it. Well, they were called to this event, so uh -huh. they were called to this event. Surprise, <coughs> remember it. Anyway. <laughs> Let's, but all, can I actually urge all councillors to keep an eye on the situation? Not we can do anything, but we could have some evidence for the future. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can I make one? Sorry, 
can't make one comment. Uh, today, believe it or believe it not, I saw a police car on uh, Old Church Road. I slowed up to see what was going on, and the lady was out with a notebook, yes. giving somebody a ticket. Absolutely. Wow. The next committee into the firing line was the Town, Event and Amenities Committee. Thank you, Chair. These are the minutes from the meeting on the 11th of February. There are no Part 1 items. I'm uh, happy to take any questions or move approvals in either way, Chair. Is it a question? <laughs> Um, I'd like to ask Councillor Gelder if the um, meeting's happened with the um, Strode Leisure, Leisure Centre yet. <coughs> I noticed that on uh, reports of the town council representative from outside bodies said that you were going to request a meeting. I'm really glad you raised that, Councillor Hatch. Um, guess what? There hasn't been one. And despite being in touch with various members of North Somerset Council, there still seems to be no... Well, I don't know, no, no, no date in the diary, again. And there are lots of people still not happy with the way certain things are run at the leisure centre in terms of the changing rooms and the creche, which is very disappointing because it's a fantastic resource for the town and we should be maximising it, not, not you know, letting it go downhill. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, John. Um, yeah, on uh, item uh, 15413 at the bottom of the first page, um, item 2 there, um, earmark any balance in the Salt House Fields tennis court budget um, towards maintenance, possible invoices for rates. Now, this was rather sprung on me, I have to say, as chairman of the subcommittee uh, at that team meeting. Um, <clears throat> it's a pity there wasn't some consultation before it, I'm sure we could have sorted things out. But anyway, um, we need. Uh, the money that's in the budget for maintenance, etc. Uh, we certainly can't afford uh, the extra for the rates. I'm afraid they'll have to come elsewhere. We had a subcommittee meeting yesterday, and uh, the minutes of that obviously will come to, uh, to this council in due course. Um, but I'm just um, wondering, Chair, whether we can just uh, scrub out possible invoices for rates uh, from that uh, that line and just keep it for maintenance, please. I mean, in fact, we may well use most of the money for maintenance this year anyway. Well, Chairman, I think we might take this up at the next meeting and decide what we're going to do with the money, but I don't think we can change the minutes as they are a record of what was said at the meeting. There was no vote on it, though, Chair. Well, that is how it was recorded. I don't think that that causes us a problem. If we want to look at it at the next meeting, I think we can do it. Are you happy to do that? I think what we might also decide to do is to write to North Somerset and just make sure that the administration in collecting the rates for a very small set yeah, of is small, handy, I think. isn't actually greater than the... Uh, benefit of collecting it. Um, sorry, go ahead. Thank you, Mr Chairman. Following on from the comments uh, from Councillor Hatch and Councillor Gellbart on Strode Leisure, I was berated by my hairdresser ten days ago because she's had to stop taking her children to the Strode Leisure Centre because of the uh, terrible smell of the drains and the changing rooms of this horrendous state. Um, this evening in the North Sunset Times, an article by Liam um, is there, and uh, Councillor Blades has got his page three position again, clearing out from behind the changing room door. As a North Sunset councillor who obviously took a keen interest in the refurbishment of the changing rooms uh, a few months ago, perhaps he'd like to pick up the baton again at Castlewood and berate the uh, uh, necessary people so that he's. Uh, Changing rooms can be uh, refurbished again properly. Yeah, there was a very nice picture of that councillor in this week's paper. Yes, there was. Chairman, can I, can I just add on that? that? For anyone who isn't aware, uh, the reason that we have a representative on that body is that, as Councillor Shopman will, will remember, um, Clevedon was actually instrumental in procuring that centre and put a huge amount of money into that centre, and therefore we treat uh, that centre as our own, as it were, not just because it's in our area, but also believe that North Somerset has been somewhat cheeky in not involving us in any proper discussions on that over the last goodness knows how many years. So we will go back to Russ Curry again and try and get this meeting set up as is something that should be our right as substantial <coughs> contributors to the site in the first place. Thank you. Well, I was going to actually mention something about the tennis court, but because you picked up on the fact, sorry, 
So Councillor Hill picked up on the fact that um, Councillor Blaze was in the paper today. I haven't seen today's paper. Why didn't you jump up and say something? But when the question is asked, you've obviously been in touch with either, either the press or, or North Somerset Council. So I was disappointed in that fact for a start. Uh, secondly, go back to the tennis courts. Um, I think we're very disappointed we have to use the limited resources we have as a town council to pay rates. We need some money for maintenance. Going back to what Councillor Watkins was saying now, we've got to keep that money in our in our pocket for maintenance. We cannot afford to use any other money that's allocated for the tennis courts for, for rates. We have to find another way to do it. Thank you. Councillor Blades, followed by Councillor Shopping. <coughs> Thank you. I'm, um, I'm completely unsure about why I'm in the paper or the article or even what's about, to be quite honest, but Ever since we had our last meeting at Strode Road as a user group, I've been trying to liaise with the manager of uh, Strode Road Sports Centre, Andy Ballantyne and Ross Curry, to get a meeting reconvened. In the meantime, the changing rooms have undergone transformations, which, as we all know, uh, weren't very good, so they had to go back and redo them. Um, I've been, subsequently, there's been problems with the crash. So I've been trying to negotiate a redeal with Russ Curry on that. Um, I tried phoning Russ Curry today, and unfortunately he's on, out on leave again. So I've emailed him saying I would like him to phone me back as soon as possible because there are many things to discuss regarding Street Road Sports and that. Um, unfortunately, it's an ongoing thing to try and get things moving, but I am, ever since Christmas, trying to communicate with Russ and Andy uh, regarding Street Road Sports and then move things forward. And unfortunately, it's taking longer than You'd imagine you probably tried to them as well, and I've got no idea, unfortunately, what uh, the story is about. Why well, in the newspaper last week or today we've got a straight sports center, unless it's about the change of rooms, which go back two months. David, just one minute, please. Um, I was told that the vice was before yourself, so just very quickly. Um, yes, yeah, so there are two things. I mean, Carl's about right that uh, it was this town, and it was particularly my husband, which I get quite irate about the swimming pool situation, who had the enormous campaign about 30 years ago to create a swimming pool in Cleveland. It was called Cleveland Needs a Covered Pool, and I remember it's scarred in my memory. Um, but I used the pool just yesterday with my granddaughter, and it was fine. Um, everything worked beautifully. The drainage seems to work, the showers are magnificent, they're too magnificent because she wanted to stay in all day. Um, the swimming pool was at a wonderful temperature, everything was fine, but there was one thing. As we walked into the change room, there was a smell of sewage. Mm -hmm. And I was a bit shocked, I reeled back and thought, oh, well, whatever, go for it anyway. So there is obviously a major drainage problem. David. Two things, Mr Chairman. Firstly, the swimming pool. We have to thank Councillor Richard Hickley mm -hmm. for getting us the swimming pool. He was the man who arranged for the million pound loan that this council took out. And it amazes me sometimes when we say we're short of money to do things, how 30 years ago we could find a million pounds and we can't find a hundred today, but that's all academic. But I did ask a long time ago, Mr Chairman, and it was agreed that we would ask the district council for a schedule of maintenance and condition of the swimming pool as it basically is our asset. So can we try again to get it? Because should the swimming pool fall by the wayside, this council would not be very popular with the people of Clevedon if we hadn't made every effort to save it. And the district council could, if they wish, close it. So we must be on our guard. But to go back to where we really started from, Back to the minutes, Mr. Chairman, and I'm looking at uh, 15490 CCTV. This isn't a criticism, Mr. Chairman, it is a lament. I would have thought that the decision to continue with this scheme was a council decision, and that this matter should have been brought to council as a part one item, the council should have decided to formally accept the new formula, not a committee. A large sum of money is involved, and I feel respectfully it should have been brought to council. And I will move, Mr Chairman, that it be brought to the next meeting of the full council.
Chairman, can I oh, uh, again? Uh, but this, this well, Mr. Chairman, for, can I ask for a second? Sorry, I couldn't have finished. Just well, a minute ago. Okay, it's just that Fair I think Mr. Shotman's quite understood what's been put there. How do you finish? Well, it appears to, well, for a minute, I think it's only in a well, minute. But yeah, sorry, Carl, I was really the still talking. Well, no, Chairman, I, I think this has probably been slightly overplayed. Um, the reason that the new formula has been presented to us is we are the only council to which this applies, and the debate about the CCTV and the way in which uh, the use is to be uh, improved and the liaison with the police has been the subject of many different presentations and discussions and, and, and liaisons with the police at various different meetings here. Um, this is not intended to be some dramatic new world. We simply said, please don't just say to us there will be a saving and it will come off special expenses. Please show us how this is going to be the case so that we can actually see some accountability for that refund coming through. That is what this is. I don't want to stifle debate on it, we will end up and have a full debate if, if that's what members generally desire, but this is the end of the debate that many of us have been having on it. It's not new news, it's just holding to account something that has been coming to fruition for some time. Anybody else wish to make comment on this? David, you are making a, making a proposal of this, are you, do you have a second? No, is you, Mr. Chairman. You make well, it yeah, yeah, should be a bit of before the council. Is there no second I'll second it. Seconder. I think it should be considered by full council because it's a, it's a, a major item of expenditure. Surely that is not expenditure. It's, in, it's not. No, Chairman, I, I, I can't explain this any more clearly. It's not expenditure. It's a saving because it's come out of special expenses. So I just think we need to make. That okay, clear. I take the point. I mean, I don't want to start for debate, no, but I want us to be debating the right thing. Yes. It's, well, it's, it's not ours, and it's, I mean, it's coming back to us, but it's not out of our budget, as it were. And also, it's not something that we can do anything about if we decide we hate it or love it. OK, fine, Jenny. Yeah. Well, that's not strictly true, Carl. Yes, it is right. This year, this financial year, is all done and dusted, but that's why I particularly ask it to keep on... The agenda, I think, as a, as a town council, we should keep an eye on CCTV oh. and oh, that so, money yes. that we're spending mm -hmm. year on year and what we're yes. getting, reports and whatever, is it you know yeah. doing its job? Then yes. absolutely. But for this year, unfortunately, that is done. No, I, I totally agree. Jane is right, and that is about the overall expense that we pay for CCTV, and she's quite right. And, uh, and I give a commitment. I mean, I can't commit to the new council, but as so far as I have the ability, we would keep it on the agenda rolling forward because the issue of the continued or otherwise effectiveness of CCTV does need to be under debate. Purely and specifically regarding this reduction now, there is nothing more that we can do. Yeah, Mr Chairman, in, in view of that, I can only quote the words of a very well-known ditty that sometimes they sing in church. And it basically goes, I am not skilled to understand, so I will accept that and sit down and keep quiet. And used for future reference. <laughs> uh, after all that excitement, Mr Chairman, I do not know whether I feel up to presenting these minutes, but I will. So with some trepidation, I would recommend the minutes to you. In a sense, they are self-explanatory. The clerk and I understand them, and I feel that is quite, quite, quite rec recommendation enough to this committee, Mr Chairman. But for those, as I said, less skilled in the matter of reading English, uh, I am prepared within the limits of my ability to explain anything that I'm asked. A lot of this. Carol, maybe? Oh, thank thank you. you. The Lockwoods um, Committee on the 17th of December, seems a long time ago now, in fact it was a long time ago, um, this was a special meeting really, um, only part two because we needed to discuss the selection of a tenant representative. In the past we've always had to uh, rather press gang, press gang people into doing this job, so it's been difficult to find. This time we were presented with three willing volunteers, so we had to um, discuss and decide who, who would be 
the best candidate. May I have approval for these minutes, please? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe the meeting, which was suggested last month, um, uh, only part two items. I will ask questions if anybody has any, um, otherwise I will ask for people. Are there any questions, please? Mr Chairman, this is an item I would ask the Chairman of the Allotment Committee to think about taking on board for next time. In the minutes that I successfully got through the Council, there was a mention of an access to the Herbert Gardens and asking us to provide a gate. Some of us have been up and looked at it and realised that if we put another gate on the Herbert Gardens, we will then cease to have a disabled access. And I know that the allotments are barricaded right, left and centre, but I do wonder if the committee would consider how we comply with disabled access under that Act. You can't answer it tonight, but if they could look at it so that at least we are covered. We, 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 just as a, a point of interest, we do provide access to various allotment gardens which are easier for people with disabilities. And we have one or two uh, disabled gardeners who are tenants. Uh, we always try to accommodate them in, in the easiest place possible. We haven't had any um, complaints so far. But um, I do agree, Councillor Shopland. Well, it's a, we do need to now, think it? about it for, for the future. Yes. Thank you. If there are no further questions, I'm happy to ask for approval. Thank you very much. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Mr. Chairman, may I raise an information point? Please do. For those members who are not on the planning committee and don't try and attend on a regular basis, not having read their paperwork that's circulated to them, they would have missed a, an interesting presentation last week on the champions' development. And I just wanted to bring to the um, members' attention that next week we are going to have a presentation on the proposed new care home at Cherry Avenue. So, uh, you know, please, if you want to have a say on anything that's on the agenda, do come and Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you all very much. I don't, I don't think my clock nor my watch has stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all very much.